Quran has different names. How many names does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have? Actually, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has infinite names. We know some of them from Quran and Hadith. They are uh, maybe 200, 300 or more. But there are, there's a Hadith, somebody said 99. There is a Hadith which says that there are 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever, sorry, whoever memorizes those words, whoever lives by those words, whoever like, uh, uh, understands those words, they will they will enter paradise. So that's why those nine, what those 99 names are, the scholars differ a little bit, but we know for sure that there are 99 names of Allah that are very, very special. But anyways, that's a topic of itself. But just like, you know, we give names to people, Quran also has names. We might say some brother, he is generous brother. We might say, oh, I met brother generous. You know, for example, because that guy is, that brother is known for his generosity. The similar thing, Quran also has different names. Its primary name is, of course, Quran, but there are some different names. And by the way, all Qurans are same. It's not like we have different versions. It's just different names. But Quran, uh, Quran itself describes uh, this book as Quran. And this occurs about 73 times. And as we said, what is the meaning of Quran again? The recitation. That's the meaning of Quran. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the verse which uh, we see uh, where Quran is mentioned. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim Kulla in ijtama'ati al-insu wal-jinnu ala an yatu bimithli hadha al-Qur'ani la yatuna bimithlihi walau kana ba'aduhum li ba'adin zahira Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, say if mankind and the jinn gathered in order to produce the like of this Qur'an, they could not produce the like of it even if they were to each other assistants. For the word Qur'an we see here. Similarly, there it was repeated 73 times. And the next word, uh, next name for Qur'an is the Kitab. What does Kitab mean? The book. And why do we have different names here? It's basically, the why we have different names here is that Qur'an, when you see the recitation, usually it is from the memory, right? We recite, Alhamdulillah, Rabbana. It, it's That's called recitation. But Qur'an is also something which we have in books, is it not? So that is why it has another name called Kitab. And uh, who can give me a verse which has Kitab in it, referring to Qur'an? You know everything like that. <laughs> What is it? ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه. The first verse, first verses from the Surah uh, Al-Baqarah. Everybody knows that. That is again this kitab, referring to hmm? second verse. Second verse, yes. Alif Lam is the first one. It's mentioned about seventy-seven times in uh, Quran. The same word, uh, the kitab actually. And again, it also telling us that Qur'an is also something that we need to read from. Yeah, it is good if you recite from memory, but we have to also read it from a book. That is another significance of it. And also, the Qur'an will be preserved in the books as well, and also in the memory, in the hearts of people. And another thing, another name of the Qur'an is Furqan. What does Furqan mean? The, uh, the criteria, the criterion. So, you know, if... Uh, if we want to know if something is right or wrong, where do we go to? We refer to Quran. All Muslims are supposed to refer every matter to Quran. We go by the book. It Quran tells us what is right, what is wrong, what aqidah wise also, what is shirk, what is uh, ibadah, what is right, and what is uh, bid'ah, and so on. Everything, it's, Allah says in, in uh, Surah Al-Furqan, verse number one, first verse, تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي نَزَّلَ الْفُرْقَانَ عَلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ لِيَكُونَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ نَذِيرًا Blessed be he who sent down the criterion to his slave so that he may be a warner to a mankind. Next word, the next name is the dhikr. Dhikr, we all know that it basically means a reminder or a narrative or something like that. And uh, this also occurs about 55 times in Qur'an. And reminding us basically that 
uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so many verses tells us the reality of life and sometimes we tend to forget things get involved with the world so much that we forget what exactly our mission is so Quran is full of that dhikr that it reminds you it, it, it tries to make you remember the actual facts so that's why uh, you know there can, we can give a lot of names but they, these are these five names are you know it defines the Quran so we have to pay attention to it why is it called dhikr so this is one of the best, uh, uh, you know, the summarized uh, characteristics of Quran. And also the last one, Tanzil, occurs the maximum time, 140 times. What does this mean? Tanzil, it means uh, like revelation, uh, the, something that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, uh, and it is the Tanzil, it is the only thing that was revealed. And it was, and also when we say uh, Nazala, it means it's something that coming from a higher to a lower place. That's again uh, one thing, the Quran, that's how it happened. It revealed from the heavens to uh, Prophet Muhammad Let's move on.